Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here. Today, as I predicted, I am once again talking about Italian battleships. The dev blog post was released, and we now have a full view of the full line of Italian BBs from Tier 4 to Tier 10. Although some of them, the Tier 4, 5, and 9, their models are missing, apparently. I guess they're still working on those but anyway we're going to go ahead and dive right on into the dev blog if you would like to read along as i read aloud the link to the dev blog is in the description down below so go to that link pull it up and follow along if you want to do so if you are going to just chill here and listen no worries i will post every single relevant graphic up 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 on the uh, screen and let's go ahead and get started so ST.9.10, Italian battleships, please note that all information in the development blog is preliminary and subject to change during testing. Any showcase features may or may not end up on the main server. The final information will be published on our game's website. Researchable Italian battleships will be added to the game in the upcoming super test session. So the tier 4 is the Dante Alighieri, tier 5 is the Conte di Cavro, tier 6 is the Andrea Doro, Tier 7 is the, uh, I'm guessing that's Frederick Car... Oh, God. Caracillo? Caracillo? I'm not sure. Not Italian. No, there's no H in there. Whatever. The the FC. Uh, the Tier 8 is the Vittorio Venecio. The Tier 9 is the Lepanto. And the Tier 10 is the Cristoforo Colombo. I think I may have gotten that right this time. The, ship of the, the ships of the new branch are most effective in combat at medium range. The main features of the Italian battleships... Like the Italian cruisers, instead of HE shells, the new ships are armed with SAP shells. They inflict high damage on weakly and moderately protected targets and ship parts, but do not cause fires. The exhaust smoke generator is among the consumables of the Italian battleships, which will allow you to hide from the enemy without sacrificing speed. A large number of guns with a relatively short firing range and not very good accuracy. Secondary battery with good accuracy but short range. Decent concealment and average maneuverability, quickly turning turrets, and rather good armor. Alright, now they also have the detailed characteristics of each ship, so I'm going to go ahead and read through that. So the Andrea Dora. Hit points, 45,000, plating 26mm, main battery 2x3 and 2x2, 320mm guns. Firing range, 17.2 kilometers. Maximum AP shell damage, 9,700. AP initial velocity, 830 meters a second. Maximum sap shell damage, 10,250. Initial velocity, 830 meters a second. Penetration of sap shells, 82 millimeters. Reload time, 30 seconds. 180 degree turn time, 36 seconds. Maximum dispersion, 235 meters. Sigma, 1.6. Secondary armament, 4x3, 135mm, range 3.5 kilometers, maximum HE shell damage, 1950, chance to cause a fire, 9%. Then she has 10x1, 90mm uh, secondaries with a range of, again, 3.5 kilometers, maximum HE shell damage, 1300. And they don't include the reload times. Uh, maximum speed, 27 knots, turning circle radius, 640 meters, rudder shift time, 13 seconds. Surface detectability, 13.3 kilometers. Hmm. Slot 1, damage con. Slot 2, repair party. Slot 3, exhaust smoke. Alright. So the tier 7. Oh, it's the Fran Francesco Carascillo? Cilio? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> tier 7. Hit points, 54,500. Plating 26 millimeters. Main battery, 4x2. 381 millimeter guns. So these are 15 inch guns in double mounts interesting those turrets look uh wow blocky firing range 17 kilometers maximum ap shell damage 12,000 initial velocity 850 meters a second maximum sap shell damage 14,050 sap initial velocity 880 meters a second penetration of sap shells 96 millimeters reload time 28 seconds 180 degree turn time 30 seconds Maximum dispersion, 233. Sigma, 1.6. Oof. Secondary armament, 4x3, 152s. 4-kilometer um, maximum range. Maximum HE shell damage, 2,100. Chance to cause a fire, 7%. 12x1, uh, 90mm guns. 4-kilometer max range. HE shell chance of fire is 1,300. I'm sorry. HE shell damage is 1,300. Chance to cause a fire is 5%. 
Maximum speed, 29 knots. Turning circle radius, 740 meters. Rotor shift time, 14.3 seconds. Surface detectability, 13 kilometers. Um, with a 12 kilometer smoke firing penalty. Available consumables, damage con, duration time, 10 seconds. Reload time, 80 seconds. Repair party, exhaust smoke generator, duration time, 45 seconds. Sorry, duration time, yeah, wait, what? Oh, duration time, 45 seconds. Duration time after it's been um, laid is 10 seconds. Reload time, 180 seconds. Three charges with a radius of 510 meters. Uh, tier 8, Vittorio Venecio. Hit point, 64,800, plating 32 millimeters. Main battery, 3x3, 381 millimeter guns. Firing a range, 18.1 kilometers. Maximum AP shell damage, 12,000. AP initial velocity, 850 meters a second. Maximum sap shell damage, 14,050. Sap initial velocity, 880 meters a second. Penetration of sap shells, 96 meters. Reload time, 30 seconds. 180 degree turn time, 30 seconds. Maximum dispersion, 244. Sigma of 1.6. Secondary armament, 4x3, 152s. Uh, with a 4 kilometer, 4.5 kilometer max range. Maximum HE shell damage, 2100. Chance to cause a fire, 7%. 12 by 190 millimeter guns, range 4.5 kilometers, maximum HE shell damage 1300, chance to cause a fire 5%. Um, detect maximum speed 30 knots, turning circle radius 810 meters, rudder shift time 15.5 seconds, surface detectability 14.9 kilometers. Consumables, damage con, repair party, exhaust smoke generator, uh, same pr properties as the last one. Duration time 45 seconds, uh, reload time 180 seconds, three charges with a 510 meter radius. And she also gets the fighter and spotting aircraft. Well, here comes the big one Cristoforo Colombo, tier 10. Hit points 89,900, plating 32 millimeters, main battery 4x4, four four, 381 millimeter guns, firing range 18.9 kilometers, maximum AP shell damage 12,000. Initial shell velocity, 850 meters a second. Maximum sap shell damage, 14,050. Sap initial velocity, 880 meters a second. Penetration of sap shells, 96 me uh, millimeters. Reload time, 38 seconds. 180 degree turn time, 30 seconds. Maximum dispersion, 251 meters. And a sigma of 1.6. Secondary armament, 12 by 2, 90 millimeter guns. Maximum range of HE of uh, I'm sorry, five kilometer range. Maximum HE shell damage 1300. Chance to cause a fire 5%. Six by three 152s with a range of five kilometers. Maximum HE shell damage 2100. Chance to cause a fire 7%. Maximum speed 29.6 kilometers with a turning circle radius of 960 meters. Rudder shift time of 18 seconds. Surface detect detect detectability of 16.4 kilometers. Consumables and its smoke firing penalty is 15.1 kilometers. The Vittorio Venetios was 13.7 um, kilometers for its smoke firing penalty. Okay, so um, yeah, damage con, repair party, exhaust smoke generator, same time as the last. I think I do believe they all have the same time and the same properties. And a fighter, and a fighter and spotter consumable. Okay, oh sorry, fighter or or spotter. Okay. Well then, um, hmm, yeah, that's, uh, that's something all right. So some other important information is that they did away with the 10% damage cap to DDs on the battleship's sap. That's a big issue in my book because the maximum broadside of the Columbo is 224,000 damage in one salvo with sap. So, yeah, I know it only has 1.6 sigma and a dispersion of 251 meters, but, you know, that's bye-bye DD that gets spotted within uh, any of these battleships range, except for maybe the, um, the tier 7, the... God, what a... The F car. We're gonna call it the F car for now, because I'm not gonna torture you with me trying to speak Italian. Yeah, with its uh, dual turrets and it's still 1.6 sigma. When I was originally reading through that and all of its stats, I'm like, okay, this is probably gonna be the gem of the line. But then it still has 1.6 sigma, with only two guns per turret. 
Um, but the rest of them, like, good god. Um, yeah. So, I hope they put that damage cap back on the sap, because if not, good Christ. I mean, they have a 96... The sap has 96 millimeters of pen. It, 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 yeah, n no DD gonna survive that. I'm, I'm sorry, it, it, it's not. But, uh, we shall see. So, other than that, I'm pretty excited for these ships. They seem to be basically doing Roma, but with sap. Really? For, for, the, for the line? I mean, the Victoria Venezio, it's it's literally Roma with sap and, and smoke. That That's it. I'm 98% sure that all the properties are the same. They do have the insane velocity on the AP. But again, with sap, you're not going to be firing AP in these things a lot. Only if you can, like, guarantee that you're going to get Citadel damage, you know. Because again, like with, like with the Colombo, 224,000 uh, striking potential with... Uh, all of its guns with sap so yeah and I'm guessing the armor layout is gonna be very similar to Roma as well um, so you know it's gonna have very 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 good face tanking capabilities but you're gonna more than likely have a very high Citadel so you gotta watch your side because if you're not angled and someone catches you catches your side uh, you're gonna have a very 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 bad time um, but Overall, I do like that they're adding in a battleship line that is mostly real, <laughs> and uh, one that's meant to be played close. I, I, I do like that. I do like that a lot. And the the secondary gimmick, I'm not sure what they're going for there. It's they, They're supposed to have good accuracy, but short range. I, I mean, like, the, the Colombo, its range right now is 5 kilometers. So, like, with modules and such um I like what seven kilometers eight maybe with flags and a full secondary build which I don't think you would want to put on these ships more than likely you would want to put a main battery slash survivability build because um the the damage con time is only 10 seconds that that's very short that's very short that, that's like the yammy's damage con time but, but yeah, you know, it's nice to get a full look at the line, see some of their stats. Uh, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of changing and testing. I, I can't imagine they'll release it, like, without a damage reducer to the amount of uh, damage DDs take with SAP, because, good God, uh, th th these things are going to cause DDs to, to just go extinct if they get released as is, in my opinion, at least. Um, but, you know, I'm excited. Um, the Colombo looks absolutely friggin' insane. I can't wait to see what the, uh, Tier 9 and the Tier... What's the mission? The Tier 5? Yeah, the Tier 5 and Tier 4. Uh, we have their names. We have the... Yeah, the, the, the Dante Alighieri, the Conte di Cavoror, and the Lepanto. And I'm sure I just butchered all three of those. But we don't know what they look like. I guess their models aren't done. But, yeah. Alright, guys. That's that's it. That's all we have for now on the Italian battleships. Uh, maybe tomorrow I'll get to talk about something else. Um, yeah, anyway, guys. Let me know what you think of, think of the comments down below. Excited for these Italian BBs? Uh, not excited? What do you think about the SAP versus DD situation? Uh, like I said, I for sure think they they need to impose that 10% cap limit. Because even, even at that point with the Colombo, that's still 22,000 damage. Yeah, that that's... You, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't one-shot a couple of DDs with that, but I mean, um, they're pretty much dead after that. <laughs> anyway, guys, let me know things to comment in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. We are on our way to 20,000 subs. Th subs, thanks to you guys. I'm losing my ability to talk, so that means it's time to end the video. Anyway, guys, hope you have a great day. Hope you're having a wonderful Friday. I will be streaming tonight right here on the channel and on Twitch from 5 p.m. U.S. Central Time to 8 p.m. U.S. Central Time. It will be all World of Warships tonight. We won't be uh, doing any Among Us tonight. Just just go to World of Warships. So come out and chill with us tonight. You guys hope you're having a wonderful day. And hope to catch you guys in the next one.